Hey, welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, it's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow, I want to settle down until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. This is video one of our new series. So this video series is on Italy. Yes. Going. And it's fall of 2022 is mm -hmm. when we did the trip. And uh, we're going back into the archives to find to find pictures and what little bit of video we might have taken and yeah we had really planned on doing youtube at that time so you just have to bear with us with, yeah. with, with what material we come up gonna with. be a lot of stills in this one and yeah. not a lot of video but yeah. uh, we'll do our best and uh yeah, hope, we've uh, kind of upgraded our camera equipment for the yeah for the last trips but anyways. exactly so so we were able to get uh, as direct flight as you can from Kelowna, but I think we went Kelowna, Calgary, straight to Athens. Yeah, we did because it was just coming kind of out of the whole COVID times, and the flights to Athens were actually really reasonable. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was great. We flew direct into Athens, and yeah, you can get on the uh, train at the Athens airport, and then about halfway you switch mm -hmm. to the subway, and yeah, it pretty much dropped us off within. I don't know, meters of where we had, yeah. we had found a place yeah. to stay. So we, we didn't have far to pack, that's for sure, that was nice. Yeah. So we, a couple days we had to spend in Athens, we had a few things that we needed to do. Uh, yeah, because uh, we dropped Pepe off in December <laughs> of 2018. Yeah, I told the guy, well, a friend of ours <laughs> there, yeah, we'll be back in eight months. Yeah. And, and it was almost four years. Yeah, almost four years. So. We were a little concerned, obviously, about the battery. Well, battery was <laughs> yeah. shot. That's a given. Yeah. The fuel was going to be stale for sure, but yeah. after that, who knew, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, yeah. plus, we had decided in, that we would take our riding gear, so we wanted to leave pants, jackets, helmets. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to leave it here instead of you know hauling it back and forth. So we had to find a battery. We had to find some fuel in a container and bits yeah. and pieces. Plus, you know. Yeah, and instead of yeah bringing our gear we went and bought our jackets yeah stuff think, over there is significantly our, less money than here yeah i think we left our helmets there Helmet, but, helmets we left yeah, yeah so we just uh i think we brought pants and then we just had to go buy some jackets and you know yeah what's the best thing about athens or greece mm -hmm. greek salad and those Euros, the euros, the euros. Oh, oh man, delicious! It's just it, like street food. You just can it get is. it, and it's cheap. Yeah, two dollars, and it's oh no, it's just two, yeah, two euros. It's just so yummy. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, we enjoyed some of our favorite Athens things, which is yeah, the food, and we walked around the Acropolis. We didn't go up to the Acropolis this time. We actually went up the hill. Kind of um, yeah, in opposite. front of it. We never did that last time, so we had some really nice views out from yeah. that hike up. Yeah, I get to see the Acropolis from afar yeah. as opposed to right in it. Yeah. I think it didn't it rain like crazy. I don't think it rained when... Yeah, it yeah. did, because we were trying to cross the main drag. Yeah, that's right. And oh, I bet you it was running a it was foot like, deep. It was and, like this, and we had to cross over. Oh, yeah, the, so much for Because the motorcycle stores were all on the other side of the street. Yeah, yeah, so I, I had my sandals on and yeah. ugh, swamped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... So the bike is stored or was stored in or near Rafina. So Rafina is on the east coast of Greece. Uh, and uh, this is a friend of ours, and it was, we originally had rented an Airbnb from him and, and made arrangements to store there. Mm -hmm. Really great guy. And, and uh, it's about a half an hour, so we just jumped in a taxi. And yeah. So when we got to, to the bike, I mean, I had concerns. Obviously, there's some things I was aware of, the battery and deal with the fuel and stuff, but I was concerned, you know, when we get this all put back together, 
Uh, how's the bike gonna run? I mean, it's been sitting there, it's, you know, mm -hmm. issues and whatnot. So, you know, we, we uncovered the bike, pushed it over. The one thing I had to deal with was all the rust that was on the, the rotors. Mm -hmm. and they, really, they were just cakes, so I sanded that all off. And then put some, drained the fuel out, put some in and hit the start switch. And you know what, I'll tell you, mm -hmm. Kudos to Suzuki and that V-Strom because I don't think Pepe turned over one complete revolution, fired up, yeah. and I swear to gosh, never missed a beat. Yeah, you wouldn't have known he had sat there for four years. Oh man, it was like, what a relief. I mean, it's just, he just booming. Yeah, because so, so I had booked a place fairly close because we weren't sure if we would need an extra day to yeah, work on the bike, but as it was... We had to give ourselves the allowance that we might yeah. have to get a taxi and go back into Athens and yeah. deal with it, right? But yeah, no, so yeah. we had a all of 10 minute ride after we got rid of the bike and yeah, so, well, picked I think, up the bike. I think you sanded the brakes and got everything going and I sent him out to yeah, test it out. <laughs> she, sent, she sends me out on the, on the dodgy bike on to the test chest drive, it out. Yeah. But, so, yeah. Pepe was good. He, yeah, so you, I was happy to see you tubing on back. And, yeah, yeah, everything yeah, was I good. returned. Mike and Joey showed up to, yep. to pick up Sally and get her going. I think, was he taking her into... Mike wanted to get some new tires put on, yeah. on his bike. So we went down into Matty, which is 10 minutes away from where the bike was and had a hotel there and they took off back into Athens and he was getting new tires and there may be <laughs> if you watched the last series yeah. which was the next year how it yeah. works out but yeah. uh you know the tires are gonna we be wish coming. maybe we got maybe I wish too. I would have spent some time getting different tires but yeah oh well Anyway, we stayed overnight. It was great. Mm -hmm. uh, he swam in the pool and mm -hmm. I slapped mm -hmm. jet lag as you know I was, I was pretty tired yeah Today we packed up, jumped on Pepe and headed off to Delphi. To Delphi, yeah, because last time we were in Athens it was actually in December and it was too cold. Delphi was is in the mountains and it was just too cold yeah. to go. So I was very excited, yeah, I, I had a chance to... Yeah, Delphi has... Uh, Delphi. The place we had was nice and... Has it, and they have a nice museum there. Yeah, they did. Uh, along with obviously the ruins. I mm -hmm. uh, didn't see the oracle. She didn't. No, you were. I think you were having a waiting for the oracle, and I was meditating. You fell asleep on the. <laughs> I was meditating. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, no, it was good. We checked out that. I think we spent. We had a full day there. We had two nights there. We spent yeah. a full day there. It's a beautiful spot. A nice view over the valley. Then the next day we, we were going to meet back up with Mike and Shelly in Mathpactos. Mm -hmm. Shelly had organized the place there, uh, to, that we would meet there. Yeah. And we, yeah, so I think we stopped in a little town, had a coffee on the way. Yeah, uh, I, was, I think it was kind of on the coast or... Galaxy, Galaxy. Yeah, yeah I'm not Galaxy. sure. Galaxy. Yeah, it was a cute little... Oh, they were all pretty kind of cool fishing, little... Uh, Pretty cool little town. I can't remember if they fished or not. I'm sure they did. <laughs> Somebody fishes. Yeah. And then, yep, yeah, met up with Mike and Shelley. Oh, I think we had, and and we had. Okay, so the four, the first trip in 2018, we were there for four months. Then we were here. Of course, this is in the past. We were in Italy for, for this trip for two months, three months, and then we did the 23, the 2023 trip for two months. But the best gelato mm. that I have had in all those mm. trips is in Napactos. Yeah, it was really good. That was like, 
Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You couldn't make it smooth. any better. It, it was, was so smooth. Yeah. Yeah. So the best gelato is in uh, Pacto's Greece. Yes. In my estimation. Anyway. Yeah. I rented us a cute little Airbnb in um, Napactos and um, we we'd arranged Mike and Shelley were going to come over, glad, happy to see each other again. They were bringing some beer and I, th I think Glenn was down working on the bike and well, we, we hadn't quite figured out the locks Yeah, but there. there's a more to this because I have a habit, I don't want to lose the key. So, so what I typically do is I open the this door. This is a bit of a trip tip. Yeah, this, this may be a trip tip. And I will take the key and on the inside and I'll stick it in the door. Because you have to a lot of times you have to use the key to lock the door, right? Yeah. It's not like deadbolts like we have here yeah. in Canada. So that's what I did and it was great. But then we went out. I think I went to take a picture of Glenn and the door closed behind yeah, me. Yeah, I, I was outside, you came out, the door closes and it was locked. It's an automatic locking door. So we phone and we phoned the owner and he sent his dad over yeah, with, a key. with a spare key. But guess what? <laughs> if your key is on the inside, their key won't go in. <laughs> we were locked out big time. Yeah, but uh, it was very nice. Uh, Mike and Shelly brought some beer over, so we sat on the steps and, yeah, we did. <laughs> and had a sat beer. and had beer while we waited. Even a little better. <laughs> waited for the locksmith dude. Yeah, I think we ended up going out for, we supper. Went for supper. I felt so bad for the poor dad. He was having to deal with so this. So now yeah. the key goes in my pocket and stays yes. there. Yes, <laughs> yes. Those, those, yeah, those. we learned. So yeah, uh, just one night in that pack. No, no, two nights yeah. because we got there, we stayed overnight. Mike and I had the bike repaired at mm -hmm. uh, We had used this fellow before in Patras to do service to bikes and it's uh, Moto Technology mm -hmm. in Patras. And if you're in the area and you need your bike serviced, especially if it's a Suzuki, uh, they're just fantastic. I mean, yeah, they were really pricing good. was spectacular. Yeah, so you had to go onto the Peloponnese because so you have to cross over that. Big yeah, two year, two the euros bridge. to get across yeah, the, the fair or the bridge. And yeah, the bridge is very nice. So yeah, Mike and I dropped the. We went across early, dropped the bikes off, walked into town, mm -hmm. got it. I think I was looking for little batteries for something and I don't know, a couple of hours and walked back and both bikes all serviced, ready to go and mm -hmm. off we went. Yeah, me and Shelly just wandered around town, checked it out. And, and, then, yeah. and then the next day we had booked, we had a ferry organized. I don't think we booked the ferry per se, but we yeah, knew the day it was going out. We booked it, yeah. Did we pre-book it? Mm -hmm. So we were a little concerned about taking the bike out of Greece because our bike hadn't been moved in almost four years mm -hmm. uh, and you know there are some rules about <laughs> how long you can keep things We just decided we went we went in bought our ticket nobody asked nobody told and uh, we got our ticket and we were gonna stay Mike and Shelly booked a berth yeah they booked before us because we weren't quite sure if we were gonna build the make yeah, it at I, that time. I don't think there was any berths available when you not when booked. I booked no, no. so and we, it's an overnight ferry so our original plan and and, and, and I have the photo to prove where <laughs> yeah. we had scurried up in there to the, the lounge and we were gonna sleep on the little Corner Bench, booth, the booth, yeah. right? Yeah, we, we scored a good spot. And Mike and Shelly just on a whim said, "Well, why don't you go put your name in and see if you can mm -hmm. maybe get a get a, a berth?" And we're like, "Yeah, okay, whatever." It's, you know, there was a lot of people coming onto the boat. Yeah, so we went and told them at the purser's desk, I guess, and they put us on a list and say, "Yeah, we'll call you if you know something comes available." Well, probably half an hour later, we get a call. Yeah. And, so it wasn't cheap, but you know. We just said, ah, we were still tired, jet lag. So we took it. Yeah. Thank God we did. <laughs> That's oh for my sure. goodness. If you have never experienced an overnight ferry, <laughs> and I, maybe they're all different, but on this particular, was it fast ferries, I think? I don't know. Whatever remember, it was. Yeah. When we, <laughs> it was hilarious. When we got our, our room and decided, okay, we're going to pack up and go put our stuff in the room. 
everybody in that cat in that lounge was eyeing our corner oh, booth. Oh yeah, when we and got up to yeah. As soon as we picked up, like we're gonna leave, <laughs> it was, was a free for all. That's right. They wanted those uh, chairs to sleep on, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. So we got our room and I slept like a log. Yeah, I slept really well. Surprisingly. And we had our old bathroom and shower, which was nice. <laughs> yeah, and in the morning, uh, opened up the door because, you know, we got to leave now and go get breakfast. And and you open up your door and there's somebody laying on the floor in front of your door and you look down the hallway and it's just people laying on the yeah, floor. Yeah, all through the stairwells and the... Your step, people had air beds they'd blown up yeah. and they had their eye pillows on. Because they don't turn the lights down in the outer oh, part. Those people looked rough. <laughs> looked that like, was the walking dead, let me tell you. like the zombie apocalypse, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we walked off, we, we decided it was a little more money, Yeah. but it was worth it was every worth dime. It. Absolutely. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's for sure. And then getting on the ferry was easy. You, you ride on and yeah. they, all the bikes Told in one spot. Go, it was super and, easy. But yeah. getting off, they pretty much just let the ramp down because it's, it's one way in and same way out. Mm -hmm. So they basically opened up, backed the, in, opened up and, the door and said, okay. And there was semis and cars and motorhomes. Motorcycles and, were all to the side in one spot, but everything else was all commingled. So you had semis backing out, they were trying to turn around, driving out, motorhomes, cars, motorcycles weaving in yeah, and out. Yeah, it was chaos. <laughs> and then add in all the people, because when the people come down, yeah. and they just kind of blow out into the, Where everybody's into the driving. vehicle bays, yeah. and you've got all this freaking <laughs> going on, it's nuts. It was chaotic. It was, and you know, yeah. so by the time we all got organized and got the bikes off and we all got together to get going, yeah, yeah next time so maybe a second and, and trip tip is if you're in that yeah. just sit on your bike Wait, yeah. let it happen yeah. yeah and we kind of did you guys drove the bikes off to the side and we just went, stayed there yeah we it settled down we got the bikes off the yeah. ferry and the four of us got organized and then yeah we just yeah. sat there i yeah i mean yeah i didn't want any part of that it was it was yeah. it was mayhem yeah yeah they would not fly <laughs> In Canada. Oh, no. <laughs> but welcome to Italy, right? Here we yeah, yeah, that was that was a good <laughs> eye opener of yeah. what was to come. Yeah. So and then we had I don't know, ten minutes to get to yeah. the old town in Bari. Yeah, we were right in the old town and when I booked the Airbnb they said, Oh yeah, you can just park the bike right outside the um the room but yeah so here we are we're in Italy that was yeah. exciting and yeah new country and yeah so it was and Bari, a beautiful town so yeah we'll explore that in the next episode yep the next episode is Bari and beyond mm -hmm. whatever our limited photos yeah, will we'll, take us we'll, we'll see how. and uh, yeah so again uh, oh. appreciate you tagging along mm -hmm. on the trips and uh, like and subscribe if you're so inclined so that'd be great yeah. and uh, we'll see you in the next one the it's where I'll always be every stop I make